hi everyone welcome back to fourth video of general entry series today we are going to understand how to pass these five general entries related with theft fire and charity so without wasting any more time let's just start the video and let's get on with it now let's start with the first transaction see here goods worth 50,000 and cash rupees 20,000 were stolen by an employee so what has happened over here a theft has taken place robbery right so we have lost the goods and cash because of this robbery so it's simple we can easily understand which accounts are affected by it goods means what purchases account we all know whenever goods are involved yeah the goods that is meant for resale in the business we always take purchases account so purchase account is affected and cash account is affected purchase account is an expense account cash account is an asset account and then there is one more account that is affected by this event that is what loss we have to record this loss because these things are gone out of the business and in return we haven't got anything no benefit so that's why you have to recognize a loss so three things are involved over here three accounts okay purchase account cash account and loss account purchase and cash are decreasing because these things are stolen these things have gone out of the business and then loss has been incurred yeah has been suffered by the business so this loss you have to recognize you have to record that means it is increasing it is increasing is that clear so what would be the general entry for this general entry is very simple see here a loss has been taken place because of theft so loss by theft account debit to purchases account to cash account why did i credit the purchases and cash account simple these things have been decreased yeah these things have been stolen they have gone out of the business it's no longer there in the business so purchases is an expense account cash is an asset account both of these things are decreasing you have to credit them is that clear yes and loss by theft that's a loss expense invisible expense that you have to recognize how will you recognize expense how will you recognize loss you have to increase that in the books by debiting it yes so the amounts would be see purchase account 50,000 cash 20,000 in total the loss suffered by the business is 70,000 is that clear simple right now let's move on to the second transaction see in the second transaction what has happened goods uninsured no insurance worth 3000 were destroyed by fire again the same thing in the business what has happened goods have been destroyed by fire so loss has been incurred yeah has been suffered by the business so that loss you have to record how much loss 3000 loss and goods are no more 3000 worth of goods are no more there in the business they are damaged they are destroyed by fire you cannot sell them right so these two accounts are involved loss and goods goods means what purchases account so simple simple see here loss due to fire account debit we have to recognize the loss of 3000 because of because our goods were destroyed so two purchases account purchase account you have to decrease expense account you have to decrease right credit is that clear simple yes let's move on to the third transaction in third transaction what is happening goods purchased for rupees 1000 given away as charity so goods purchase means what purchase account yeah we had stock right from that stock from our stock what did we do we gave away thousand worth of goods to charity right so what, what are you going to do about it it's simple charity is an expense okay it's like a loss to us yeah we are not gaining anything by this so this is an expense all right so you have to recognize this charity expense charity account all right and goods are also no longer there in your business yeah it has gone out of the business purchase account is decreasing goods have been gone out of the business and expense you have to recognize what expense charity charity expense you have to recognize same like how did we recognize you know loss over here here also you have to recognize an expense that you know we haven't got anything in return so it's like a loss for us so this charity account you have to recognize so how will you recognize simple expense you have to recognize that means you have to debit expense is increasing you have to debit and here purchase account is decreasing you have to credit so the entry would be see charity account debit expense we have recognized yeah we have given charity which is an expense for us we haven't got anything in return because of that expense fine so debit 1000 and we have to decrease the purchases the goods which have gone out of the business to purchase account 1000 is it clear simple right you got that the next transaction is see 
cash rupees 500 given away as charity again previously we gave goods so purchase account was involved in the fourth transaction we are giving out cash so cash account is involved cash is decreasing simple just credit the cash account just credit the cash account 500 and debit the charity account you have to recognize the expense charity expense simple right see for example if you have paid rent okay paid rent then what will happen rent account to cash cash has gone out you have to recognize the rent expense so that it can be taken to profit and loss trial balance then profit and loss isn't it yes so similarly if charity is happening this is an expense expense you have to recognize the expense how will you recognize the expense we always recognize the expense by debiting it debiting it is that clear yes the next transaction we have see fifth one that is can you see it let me just yeah see fifth one goods worth 1500 lost by theft yeah they were stolen and insurance company admits claims in full now see there are two events involved in this one sentence what are those two events the first event is we have lost 1500 worth of goods by robbery by theft okay so purchase account is involved our goods have been decreased it has been stolen so you will credit the purchase account because those goods are no longer there in your business and you have to recognize a loss loss by theft yeah that much is clear to you so let's see the general entry for that see loss by theft account debit okay loss by theft account debit to purchases account the goods have been stolen it's no longer there in our go down or in our warehouse so to purchase account 1500 and loss you have recognized clear yes then what has happened then they have said insurance company admits claims in full this is the second event that insurance company has compensated us in full full yeah 1500 we have lost they have given us 1500 money so what are we going to do simple we are getting 1500 money from insurance company because of this loss okay so simple cash or bank account debit yeah we have received the money our cash or bank account is increasing so we have to debit 1500 but how did we get this we got this from the insurance company that's fine but but what you have to do you have to reverse this loss yeah i mean you can also do it like this see cash account debit 1500 to insurance company and then you know cancel the insurance company account and then take loss by theft you can also go that way but the shortcut would be the shortcut would be cash account debit 1500 to loss by theft 1500 what are we doing over here let me just tell you again see what are we doing first we recorded the loss see loss has happened we have lost the goods okay this entry was recorded then we got compensation from the insurance company yeah we got compensation from the insurance company so what did we do then we increased the cash account because we have got the money 1500 and the loss which we said happened previously that loss we cancelled it off here it was debited we made an equal credit 1500 to cancel off that loss because that loss hasn't happened isn't it if we are getting money from insurance company that means that loss has never taken place yeah in the books in accounting that loss has never taken place of course in reality it has but in accounting it has not because you have got recovery for that loss happened you got the recovery over here so no loss just reverse the loss so how will you reverse in accounting if you want to reverse anything what you have to do for an equal debit you have to make an equal credit it will be reversed for an equal credit you have to make an equal debit it will be reversed like that you reverse in accounting okay debit and credit is that clear so you understood this you recorded the loss and then you made a recovery of that loss so that's why you have to cancel we cancelled this loss by theft account is that clear yes it's clear so that's it that's all you have to do okay so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye